Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tips and tricks session. And today I'd like to talk about cables and source and target of cables. We are on a single line page to represent our cables with a single line and I'd like to interconnect location 1 box U1 and location 2 box U2. On the first box I'm going to use a female connector that I'm going to place and this female connector I'm going to label it PL1 and instead of a connection point designation 1 I'm just going to use 0 as a generic number because it's a single line page. To display the plug, all you have to do is simply go to the display tab and replace this designation with the plug property. And here's plug designation one, confirm with OK, and now we can display the plug name. On the other side, on box U2, I'm going to place a mail pin. So I'm going to connect the two together using an auto connecting line, and this plug, I will call it PL2. And again, connection point designation of zero. This time in the display, I'm going to replace my connection point designation with the plug name. PL2. And there we are. So now I've got a connection between the two boxes. However, I'd like to identify a cable. This cable, of course, has some plugs at each end, so I'm going to place a female plug for my male connector. It's going to be called X1, but just for transparency, I'm going to call it X2. And then I'm going to use a male plug on my female connector on box U1. And it's going to be called X1. If I was to create a cable between the two, I would simply draw a cable definition line. I would get a cable tag W1. And if you're on a single line page, always make sure to change the representation type of the connection definition point. Currently, it's set as not defined, but if you set it to single line, you'll notice that an additional tab appears, this interconnect devices. It actually allows you to interconnect the wires of those connectors connecting these two boxes together. So that's another little feature that allows you to add additional functionality. Now, if I look at my cable, W1, you'll notice that the source and the target is X1 as a source and X2 as a target. But my source and target is not the plug of the cable. I want the source and the target to actually be the box U1 and the target to be the box U2. Of course, we can use block properties to navigate from the cable to the plug, from the plug to the, to the target, and vice versa, from the source to the plug and from the plug to the target. However, there's a different way to do it and I think a much easier way. If we go to our function definition for a particular, for that, not the cable, but we'll go on the function definition for the plug. So I'm going to open up this plug and the function definition currently is pin to connection points. Let's change this function definition to connection splicer and because we only have two connection points, I don't have three or four, I'm going to use this connection splicer variable. Using this function definition, ePlan gives us an additional field to use as transfer of target. And if we go to the properties, you'll see continuous connection between the connection points. So a splicer technically allows you to connect two wires, two open ends of wires together, and actually either screw them together or clip them on together. So it's not really considered a device target. It really just is a continuation of the wire from one side to the other. And it's not really a terminal either. It's more just a device that connects them together. So in this case, I'm using this representation of a plug. However, I'm defining it as a splicer, and I am continuing the target from 1 to 2. And when we say from 1 to 2, all we mean is we are carrying the target tracking from point 1 all the way to point 2. So this allows the cable then to not look at the plug, but to look at the device connected to the plug. I will do the same thing on this female connector. I will switch over the function definition to be a connection splicer variable. And this connection splicer variable, again, 
brings with it a new property called continuous connection points and I will do the same thing here I will do continuous connection between 1 and 2 by doing so I still have my x1 I still have my x2 they are now splicers and this cable if I look at the cable you will see that the target is now my box u1 specifically my box u1 with my plug pl1 and my box u2 with my plug pl2 without using any block properties so there you have it a little tips and tricks using splicers as a mean to transfer the target without having to use block properties hope you'll enjoy this little tip and trick and hope it helps in your daily work thank you very much and have a nice day